Pulmonary edema is a serious medical condition. It happens when fluid builds up in the lungs. This fluid makes it hard to breathe. Pulmonary edema is a clinical syndrome, meaning it's a group of symptoms that happen together. This condition is a medical emergency. It requires immediate treatment. Without prompt care, pulmonary edema can be fatal. Understanding the causes, symptoms and treatment is crucial. The most common cause of pulmonary edema is heart problems. When the heart is unable to function properly, it can lead to a series of complications that result in fluid buildup in the lungs. A weak heart can't pump blood efficiently. This inefficiency means that blood doesn't circulate as it should, causing pressure to build up in the blood vessels. This causes blood to back up into the lungs, leading to fluid leakage. The fluid then accumulates in the air sacs, making it difficult to breathe. Conditions like heart attacks and high blood pressure can contribute to this. These conditions put extra strain on the heart, exacerbating the problem. Lung diseases can also trigger pulmonary edema. Chronic conditions such as COPD or acute issues like infections can lead to fluid buildup. Infections like pneumonia can inflame the lungs. This inflammation can cause the lung tissue to become damaged and leaky. This inflammation damages air sacs, making it difficult for them to transfer oxygen. The damaged air sacs fill with fluid, further impairing lung function. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, or ARDS, is a severe form of lung injury that can cause rapid fluid buildup. This condition often requires intensive medical intervention. Other factors can also play a role. These include a variety of environmental and medical conditions that can lead to fluid accumulation in the lungs. Inhaling toxins such as smoke or chemicals can damage the lungs and lead to fluid accumulation. This is often seen in cases of smoke inhalation or exposure to harmful chemicals. High altitude can also cause fluid to leak into the lungs. This condition, known as high altitude pulmonary edema, can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Shortness of breath is the most common symptom of pulmonary edema. It often worsens when lying down. This is known as orthopnea. Patients may also experience sudden severe shortness of breath even at rest. Another telltale sign is coughing up pink, frothy sputum. This indicates the presence of blood in the fluid. Wheezing, a whistling sound during breathing, is also common. Patients may experience chest pain, especially if the edema is caused by a heart problem. Other symptoms include rapid heart rate, anxiety, and pale, clammy skin. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. Section 4. Diagnosing and Treating Pulmonary Edema Doctors diagnose pulmonary edema through a combination of methods ensuring a comprehensive evaluation. A physical exam, including listening to the lungs, is the first step. This helps in identifying any abnormal lung sounds. Chest x-rays can reveal fluid in the lungs, providing a clear visual confirmation of pulmonary edema. An echocardiogram and ultrasound of the heart can assess heart function and detect any underlying heart conditions. Treatment for pulmonary edema focuses on supporting breathing and addressing the underlying cause, which is crucial for patient recovery. Oxygen therapy is often necessary to improve blood oxygen levels, helping patients breathe more easily. Diuretics, medications that remove excess fluid, are commonly used to reduce the fluid buildup in the lungs. If heart failure is the cause, medications to improve heart function will be prescribed to manage the condition effectively. These may include ACE inhibitors, beta blockers and digoxin, which help in improving heart performance. In severe cases, mechanical ventilation may be required to assist breathing, ensuring the patient receives adequate oxygen. Section 5, Complications and Prevention Strategies. Pulmonary edema can lead to serious complications if left untreated. This condition, characterized by fluid accumulation in the lungs, can severely impact a person's ability to breathe and function normally. Respiratory failure, where the lungs can't provide enough oxygen, is a major concern. This can result in the need for mechanical ventilation and intensive medical care. The fluid buildup can also increase the risk of lung infections. These infections can be particularly dangerous, leading to further complications and prolonged hospital stays. In some cases, pulmonary edema can cause lasting damage to the lungs. This damage can reduce lung capacity and make it difficult for patients to engage in everyday activities. This can lead to long-term breathing difficulties. Patients may require ongoing respiratory therapy and support to manage their symptoms. 
The strain on the heart can also be significant, potentially leading to heart failure. This is because the heart has to work harder to pump blood through the fluid-filled lungs. Preventing pulmonary edema involves addressing underlying conditions. This includes managing heart disease, high blood pressure and other related health issues. Managing heart disease through medication and lifestyle changes is crucial. Regular exercise, a balanced diet and adherence to prescribed treatments can make a significant difference. Quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to lung irritants is essential. These steps can help reduce the risk of developing pulmonary edema and other respiratory conditions. Regular checkups with your doctor are important for monitoring your health and catching any potential problems early. Early detection and intervention can prevent complications. By understanding the causes, symptoms and treatments for pulmonary edema, you can take proactive steps to protect your health. Educating yourself and following medical advice are key to managing this condition effectively.